The Soulbinder boss is an indestructible boss balloon that has a soul core that you need to pop out of the boss balloon in order to be able to destroy it and push the balloon back. We have to keep the Soulbinder boss at bay until round 80 when the boss finally is able to be damaged. We've added 19 brand new towers to the game that we're going to be using in order to defeat this crazy boss. The rounds are like this dark blue because the boss is coming. So here's all of the extra like towers and stuff we have. There's so many. Holy cow, we have so many things. Like we have the energy shooter, we got our little pirate crew. I kind of want to get the unloader, darling gunner, which is really powerful, but that costs a lot of money. So I don't think we're going to be able to deal with that. I think the guided missile launcher is probably going to be one of the best, especially when you get like the longer range and then like the missile overload. Look at that, ultra missiles, they, it's only $3,000. That's not that expensive. So I think first things first, we'll put Sada right here. That's gonna be our, our Sada, and the tactical shotgun sniper is really good, but also really expensive. Most of these towers are just bonkers expensive. I kinda wanna get the energy shooter. We'll put the energy shooter right there for now. It's so tiny! All right, here we go. Uh, nothing's, oh, there it is! The Soulbinder's core, it has 500 HP. Okay, we'll use the Sada ability. So look at that. So once the Soulbinder's core gets destroyed and we are able to put it down to the, the bottom of the HP, so we need to do about 200 more damage, which actually we're doing damage pretty quickly. So now the soul pops out of the thing and we need to constantly hit it to push it back. We also need to push back this other balloon. So look, so by doing damage to it, we actually push it further back. I'm gonna upgrade and upgrade to stronger energy. Let's do this because we wanna keep pushing back the boss balloon because if we don't pop the boss balloon or push it back while the core is out of the balloon, he's going to get to the end and win. So, oh my gosh, he's getting further. We need to do, we need more damage. We need way more damage. There's faster energy. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Hero Master. The Hero Master is an insanely strong tower that shoots every single projectile from every hero. And then I also wanna get level four, which costs $2,000. So we're gonna start working on that. We've already pushed the Soulbinder's core out again. And look at that, we just keep pushing it back. You know what I just realized? I think a sniper is gonna be really strong here because we want someone that's always gonna be attacking the Soulbinder. No, I'm saving up. I want the Hero Master to be leveled up. That's what I want. I need Hero Master to be level four because it makes it shoot out level four projectiles for every hero. So that basically means you spend $2,000 and now all of, his, all of his attacks just get bonkers strong. Bonkers strong. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put that back. Look at that, the Soulbinder's already, already at the very, wait, where's the core? Oh, the core just went back, but it has a thousand HP still. And look, it says 66 rounds left. We need to be paying attention to what rounds are what though, because I really don't want us to like have to, like something sneak up on us, you know? Oh, there's the bat monkey. Explosive batterings are 60,000. That's pricey. Oh, there's the core. Yeah, see, we can actually keep pushing the core back. And if you push the core all the way back, it actually gets pushed right back into the, the, what do you, the soul binder. So remember, the boss currently is invincible. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to keep our money up. We're trying to get a strong defense because in round 60 is when we're going to have to fight the real soul binder. Little spooky. Oh, wait. Wait, no. Summon. I don't want to summon whirlwind. I want the frost. The frost mage actually is kind of insane. So let's go ahead and put our frost mage down. I want the frost mage to be right here. Look at this. Wait, you're not. He's not getting any pops. Oh, there we go. Oh, because we're doing the soul binder score. That's why. All right. There we go. Faster breathing, the metal freeze. I don't, that's $1,700 just to pop blood balloons. I don't think I really care about that. I don't think it's that important. Maybe we can get, I really want, I think we should get some money. I think that's what I should focus on is trying to get a banana farm up and running. Or do I go ahead and get a retro banana? Let's get a retro banana farm. Let's, I feel like a retro banana farm would be kind of cool. More bananas, banana plantation. There we go. Is it just gonna give us money or does it spawn? There we go. So there we go, $250, nice. So it's just gonna constantly just get us a little bit of money every round, right? Every round, $250, $250, what's this one? Generates $500 per round. We're actually pretty close to that. There we go, thank you. All right, banana research facility is $2,000 per round. That's actually a lot of money per round. Oh my gosh, okay, this thing's getting a little bit too strong. I don't like how powerful this is getting. Can we get multiple hero masters? There's no way, right? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another hero master. The Hero Masters are way too powerful. They're like so strong. They're cracked and they're so cheap and affordable too. Maybe we can get the lightsaber thrower. Double lightsaber has 80 pierce. All right, I'm getting a lightsaber thrower. We're gonna put the lightsaber thrower. I can't see where my screen is. All right, there we go. There's the lightsaber thrower. 
We almost have enough for the double lightsaber, too. Look at how much HP the Soulbinder... It started off at, like, 300. All right, there we go. Double lightsabers. And now we're just going to be throwing tons of them. Now, now we want to be thinking about... How's this? Maybe $3,000. Maybe we should just get another retro banana farm. Thank you. More bananas, banana plantation, and then I'm going to save up for the Banana Republic, which costs $3,000. Banana Research Facility is $15,000, and that's $2,000 around. So I guess we should start saving up and trying to buy that. But we only have 40 rounds left until we're going to have to deal with this. So I'm not entirely sure how... We Wait, who are you shooting at? What are you doing, sir? Oh, is this the core? I think this is like the core, but we can't really see it right now. Faster energy... Burning energy. Let's upgrade that. And I think that... And double energy? Energy can pop through two more balloons each. Wait. And double energy. That's... All right. Super energy. Energy pops through more layers of balloon and can hit more balloons. That's so much money. I don't have that kind of... I don't have that cash on me right now. The Hero Masters max upgrade. So we're not going to do anything with that. Oh, there's the core. Oh my gosh. The core is so far along the track. What ha... Oh, we need to get more damage. We need more damage very quickly. Let's get uh, the unloading dartling gunner. That's what I want. Because, like, the unloading dartling gunner. And then also the fletchlet. Darts spawn into smaller darts. Because, like, look at... Look, so it's, it's, like, more of, like, a shotgun blast. And now we're actually pushing the balloon back. Keep... Oh, no, it got the core again. All right, where is it? We need 13... Th actually, I'm saving up money to buy banana research facility. We have 35 rounds left. 35 rounds at $2,000 a round is going to equivalent to what? Like, an extra $60,000 in the end. That's another T5 tower. Like, literally a T5 tower. So, we definitely want to make sure that we're working on that. And this thing is doing great damage. I'm actually really glad I got the unloaded. It says it only has 10 pops. But, like, look at how many... Look at all the darts. It's literally doing so much damage right now and pushing this thing back. It just doesn't count for damage because we're pushing the balloon back. Because right now, the Soul Binder technically is invincible. So, we want to make sure that, you know, that's not ideal. And if we can get the next upgrade for the Banana Research Facility, which means we're going to be getting... $4,000 every single round. $4,000 every round. That's definitely going to be worthwhile for upgrading and stuff like that. We need $13,000. Boom. And now Golden Barrage. Do I want to get Golden Barrage? Look at this thing. Holy cow. Look at how fast this pushes the, the boss back. That's, the, that's what we need. Right? We need to be pushing this boss balloon back as far as possible. Get it back. Push it back. Back to the start with you, you evil fiend. You're not getting out of here. Push it back. Push him back! Push! 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 There we go. Oh my gosh. We might get this guy all the way back to the start. Which would be so nice to be able to have. Oh my gosh. There we go. Now it's back to 15,000. But we have it back at the start. Which is really, really nice. Okay, I'm going to have you locked in place right here. Because I don't think we're ever going to need to be move it. If I do, I'll upgrade it. But for now, I'm trying to save up and get that golden barrage. How's... Oh, she's so close to level 10 so we can get the sword charge ability. Yeah, look... Wait... Look at how far away this thing is. Oh, it's slowing it down. Interesting. I think if I push... Wait, we can get the Golden Barrage now. Look at that. Go oh my gosh, Golden Barrage is too powerful. If we push it all the way back to the start, does the core automatically go back? I don't know. I have no idea. But we're basically just keeping this guy all the way back. And now the core got popped again. Yes. I am very pleased with this guy. Let's get the, the shotgun sniper. The tactical shotgun sniper. We'll put you right here. Why am I putting him right there? I could have a much better character right there. I want to put this guy right here. What is the better upgrade path? Loaded steel. It can pop up to 50 balloons beach and explode much more violently, expelling frags. I think that's the upgrade path I want to go. So we're going to go with that, and then I can also get loaded steel too. And now we have max upgrades. I don't know if it's going to do like a ton of work, but we'll make that work. All right, now we have $18,000, and now, all right, so Balloon Zooka, RPG Strike. See, look at the pop count now. That's so much. All right, let's go ahead. I want to grab us a village. We'll put the village, like, look at how many characters are going to be affected by this village. Bigger radius, now they all have the village. Jungle drums, and now we can level up and get MIB, just so we can make sure we pop all types of balloons. 19 rounds that are left, my friends. 19 rounds before we have to deal with this. Oh my gosh, that's made $40,000. I, I have to apologize because I totally underestimated these towers. The first time I covered the, this mod with these 19, I actually said that these retro banana farms are really bad. Like, I, I actually said they're not very good. They're just, they're they're great. They're, they're more than fine. They make you so much money. Five large banana crates. Five times 300 is 1,500. So this is 20,000, and that only makes you... 
$1,500 around. So this is actually just fixed. It's cheaper and makes more money. So it's just literally better in every way, shape, and form. And I'm just bad at the game. Here, we can upgrade our Frost Breath, Deep Freeze, Ice Cold Breath, Moab Freeze, Ice Can Freeze, Moabs. That's $41,000, though. I'm not going to be able to afford that. That's way too expensive. That's way too pricey. Let's see. We can get the double. Wait. Throws two bombs? I think bombs actually do more damage to Moab class abilities. So I'm going to put you on strong and do bomb jitsu. And I like, look at that. It, relatively cheap, but he's going to be doing extra damage to the Moab class balloons. Now, is there anything that we have? Also, wait, where's this? I'm going to have this guy target strong. Because I also want him doing that. Ooh, there we go. Look at, look at the range on this thing. Which one's better? I think missile control is better. So if we upgrade and have this target strong. Heavy bombs, heavier bombs, and then we can upgrade all this to missile overload. Look at how fast it attacks. Blah, 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 blah. And now look at this. We use this ability. And it just pushes the entire thing back. Like, it just pushes them all the way back. We're not... Oh, no! The core! Is the core going to be okay? And by okay, I mean, is it going to be destroyed? Because I don't want to deal with that. That seems spooky. How's our spike up looking? Wait. So there's... Spiky balls now have extra spikes that detach as they roll. Multi-shot or Juggernaut. Juggerlance. Increase attack speed and damage greatly. Hurls Juggernauts rapidly around the moon. I don't know which one I want to have more of. I don't know which going to be a better one to have. Greased Runners. Lubricant added to the Spike Bolt allows it to shoot faster. Here, we'll just upgrade and grab that because I think that's going to be pretty strong. Oh my gosh, that's getting a lot of pops. We have 10 rounds left, my friends. If you're excited and you... I don't know if we're going to be able to beat it though. Remember, we're just trying to hold it back, right? Like, we're just trying to keep it back. That's fine. But what happens when we have to fight the boss? Like, are we going to be able to deal with it? I have no idea. Let's get the Bat Monkey, too. The Bat Monkey. Bat Monkey. Here, we'll put our Bat Monkey right here. Sharper Batarangs. Double Batarangs. Laser Batarangs. Energy Batarangs. And then Explosive Batarangs, which we need $60,000 for. I think that's what we're going to save up for is the explosive batarangs. Because I think the batarangs are just going to be objectively, like, best, right? This guy, the, the unloader darling gunner is just way too powerful. Like, he's just insane. It's just a giant AoE, like, damage. And then it creates... Because every single dart from the darling gunner, like, look at this. So look at all these. So he shoots how many in a row? One, two, three, like ten. He shoots, like, ten in each row. Each one... Sh pops into three additional darts right because it has the same thing the submarine has airburst it has airburst darts on it so every single dart also pops into three other darts so that's like 30 darts per like it's like basically mathematically technically this guy's shooting like like 300 a second like one two it's like 300 darts like that's how many he's attacking with which is crazy. Look at that. Its core is at 30,000 HP. It's so tanky. I want explosive batterings. Is explosive batterings too much to ask for? I don't know what's doing the most damage right now, to be to be honest. There we go. Explosive batterings. Now we got explosive batterings. Oh, wait. The soul binder's right. Oh, my gosh. That's so much HP. Okay, okay. So we have to fight this guy now. Wait, there's the soul binder. So we have to. Okay, we have to get this back. So we're, get, we're gonna sell both of these. That's sixteen thousand dollars. That leaves us forty-two thousand dollars. There we go. Oh, oh, this guy's done for. We're getting another. I'm getting an. Oh, I can't get golden barrage. I need more for golden barrage. What can we sell for a golden barrage? What what has not gotten tons of pops? That thing. And frost mage. All right, we're gonna do that in golden barrage, and then lock in place right there. Yo! We beat it. Let's go. We're really working on trying to make some awesome new fun bosses, new towers. So get hyped, get excited, subscribe, turn on notifications, 